Today's video is about changing the fuel filter on our Onan generator. Yeah, now well, Onan recommends changing this out every 500 hours or every three years. And seeing how Maggie's almost six years old, she's due for a second change. We've also had a few people ask us if we could do a video on how to actually change out the filter. So this video is for all of you guys and anyone else who might be wondering how it's done. Because it's really simple. <laughs> You're gonna have a fuel line on this end. We're gonna pull it off, we, then we're gonna start the generator and let it run until it runs out of gas. Then we're going to take this end, screw it out from the fuel pump, take the new one, screw it back into the fuel pump, put the fuel line back on, prime it, run it, check for leaks. That's all there is to it. It's easy peasy, and as always. This is not meant to be an instructional video. We are not professionals. We are just RV owners attempting to do maintenance on our own RV. We are not responsible for anyone attempting this maintenance on their own. Get going with this! All right, we are now underneath the generator. That is where the fuel filter actually is. It's easy to get to, easily accessible. So I just need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove this clamp and take the fuel line off. And then a 9 16 wrench here to turn it out from the fuel pump itself. So you do want to have something to catch any fuel that may be coming out of here once it's disconnected. So I'm just gonna unscrew it. And ours is actually loose, which is a good thing. If yours is tight, you can try putting a flathead screwdriver up against here and pry back a little. Another way, but you gotta be extremely, extremely careful, is to take a pair of pliers, grab hold lightly, just enough, and then just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Do not do it too, too hard because you can cut the fuel line. Now, when I pull this out, there's gonna be fuel, and I don't know if me or Cheryl's gonna get hit. We do have a bucket underneath it, just in case. <laughs> Now once you get the fuel line off, you're gonna to wanna to plug it up and my screwdriver happens to be the perfect size. And then just put it up out of the way. Now we're gonna start it till it runs out of gas. All right, so we ran it till it ran out. It's just gonna take the 916 combination wrench now and just loosen it, take it out, replace it with the new one. Just be careful, there could still be a little gas in there, I suppose. Drips maybe? Eh, psh, one drip. That's it, it's off. Now, you take the brand new spanky new one and we're gonna put it right in where we just took the other one out. And again, it already has sealing on it, so don't worry about that. And then we're just gonna tighten it. I'm just tightening until I feel slight resistance and then I'll stop, oops. All right, now we're just going to take the fuel line again. There we go. All right, put this back on, your clamp. So you're just going to tighten it back down, almost to the edge. I like to make sure that there's at least a little bit of hose left out so I know that that's all the hose are being clamped. And that's it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to prime it and then we're gonna start it. Make sure there's no leaks, and guess what? Then we're done. It's that simple, I told you, this was gonna be easy. Now, in order to prime it, you take the cover off. I mean, you can do this inside too, but we're already out here. Take the cover off, and the switch is right over here. Start, and down here it says stop prime. I'm gonna push that for at least 30 seconds. Oh, we can hear it. Now you want to let it run for 10 minutes and you want to check the leaks while it's running. Now I already checked while it was running, but now that it's stopped too, there is no leakage whatsoever. So job well done. The only thing left is to just put the door back on. And on our particular model, if we try to do the bottom, because you got the two hooks right here. If you try to do it first, it's going to hit. So what we have to do is we have to sneak it up behind, then bring it down, lock those two clips in, push in on it, and it's done. The whole job is done. <laughs> so it was pretty easy to change the fuel filter. That's the way that we do it. Now, if you like what you saw, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. If you want to become part of the Grow and Get Gone with us, gang, right down there in the corner, just click it and you're in. If you have any questions or comments, you can put it right down below or you could just say hi. So we'll say hi back, we always do. And don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. But until our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get gone with us. Bye. Bye.